hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is pilumi if it's your first time coming across this channel you're welcome um on this channel i share sewing diy and craft tutorials so if you're into that kind of content please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload share this video like this video and leave a comment i'd love to interact with you and hear from you that would be really nice if we can just grow this community together so in today's video i'd like to share with you my sewing plants and um i just finished a very therapeutic <laughs> therapeutic session of just drawing out all the designs i had in my head i've had all winter long that i wanted to sew and now that it's summer and i need things to wear i'm like i felt so overwhelmed having all the plants in my head so i just took time just now actually to just draw um, to sketch the designs that I want to make or the outfits I want to make for this summer So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. I hope you find it inspirational uh, And some of them I will probably share the tutorials on the channel in the future. So do stay tuned for that So let's just get right into this video then By the way, I have this sewing basket where I keep things I plan to sew <laughs> so this is where I'm putting all my summer sewing plan fabrics yeah they're gonna be here I have about six things that I want to sew for this summer I hope I can get through all of them <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what inspired the designs and um, the fabrics I want to use and things like that um, okay the first thing here is go through first thing here that I want to make is mm, this camisole with tie straps. I saw that this was quite a trend this summer for those in the northern hemisphere. And it's up my alley. I think I would love camisoles, a camisole with this. So I plan on using the Okdin Kami pattern for this. I'm hacking it to make it like a two-layer um camisole with tie straps and this is the fabric i plan on using to make it it's an south Af it's a south african fabric it's called shui shui and i just have about a meter of this which i hope will be enough it's this shui shui fabric it's called shui shui <laughs> it's this shui shui fabric i have like one meter of it so i hope it will be enough for the kami if it's not enough i'll probably just make one layer but for now that's the plan to make a camisole a double layered camisole with tie straps um it'll be very nice for the summer not too much effort <laughs> and breezy so that's my first plan um making the camisole the tie straps camisole the next one is sort of like a goddess skirt a dress with a gathered skirt and puffy sleeves. Puffy sleeves are a trend and they're also up my alley. So I don't think that if this puffy trend passes, I would not wear puffy, puffy sleeves anymore. I love them, they're really nice. And I plan on using this beautiful um, jacket. I think it's also called a jacket. This was gifted to me by a fellow sewing friend, a sewing sister on Instagram. We became friends and we exchanged fabrics. So she sent me this beautiful jacket, which I have already pre-washed and I didn't think to hem to finish the row edges first and this happened, but I'm just going to trim it up when I want to sew. Uh, but it is such a beautiful fabric. I love it. So this is what I plan to make with this with this um this is the design i plan to make with this dress a gathered skirt with a simple um top and puffy sleeves i think this fabric will do all the talking on its own there's no need for any dramatic style this is just the perfect fabric um for a simple design so that's the plan for this fabric so a dress i hope i get to this very soon because i really look forward to in this okay so next up on my sketch pad is a nice simple summer baby doll dress with four with three layers i'm really looking forward to this one as well um it's a trend as well but the me trends i don't wear things i don't make things i don't wear that i know i wouldn't wear so this is something i know i'm gonna wear um i already have a tutorial on how to make a tiered 
yeah so there was also three levels i think like a skirt a maxi skirt there needs to be a dress version of that tutorial so do check out that tutorial will be on the screen and the fabric i plan to use is this ankara star fabric here it is it's also a popular fabric i have something already made with this fabric and this is like the leftover piece it's about three meters left i think it'll be enough for this three-tiered um baby doll dress yeah i'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> i think the light is too much so this is the fabric i'll be using to make the dress i think it's perfect um yeah it'll be nice really really nice i look forward to making this dress as well and then next up is a swim wear uh a two-piece swim wear i cannot swim every summer i make plans that i'm gonna learn how to swim hopefully this summer will be the summer i learn how to swim and i have i would have something to wear um it's a two-piece swimsuit i saw this um sort of like shirt shirt how is it pronounced cheering <laughs> um shorts on instagram um i thought i saved it but i didn't i checked but it's been in my mind to sew so i've i've drawn it i've sketched it right here so it was sort of like a a short but uh shirt shirt i don't know how to pronounce that shirring it was shirt scrunched rushed ruched i'm gonna just stop right there <laughs> but anyways um uh, it's going to be shirt shorts um with a, a vest that has like gathering in front of in between the bust I hope that will look nice i've never sewn a swimsuit or swim here before so i don't know i hope i really get this right but i think it's a nice design it's also something that i'll be comfortable wearing um i'm not going to be comfortable wearing bikinis i don't know but i think a two-piece that's you know nice and modest to be good it's going to be short with the top that has a shirt in the middle as well and yeah that'll be my swimsuit for the summer and what I plan to use is this, I think it's called an ITY knit. I don't know. I should ask Tino. She's the one that, was, that sent me the damask, damask or jacquard? Yes, jacquard. She also sent me this fabric. So she sent me both of them. And I'll be using that to make um, the swing suit. I hope it'll be enough. It's about two meters here. Actually, it's only one meter. Yikes. Um, but I think I can manage it <laughs> to make the short and the top. It is such a lovely fabric. I love the pattern. I love the bright colors. It's going to be really nice. Um, so this is what I plan to use to make the swimwear. Hopefully I can make it and it'll be nice. <laughs> so that's that. Um, next stop on the sewing plan, summer sewing plan list are um, more like formal dresses so i have this big bag of yellow <laughs> of yellow tool and um satin duchess satin i had a client that i had to sew for and this is the leftover tool and duchess satin so the plan why i have this is i made a mistake with the cutting of the of the skirt that i I don't know <laughs> so i have this like half circle thing here and i'm hoping i can just cut out a waist here and use that for the bottom of the dress and then use the tool as an overlay with ruffled or yeah with gathered gathered hem um i hope it'll be nice so the skirt will be inside I hope you can pick just try picture it it's going to be inside and then the two will be covering that and it's gonna also have like a gathered hem on the two okay and it's also gonna have a, a sweetheart neckline bustier top so this is sort of like what i just what i sketched i don't think it really really features what i want to make um so it's gonna be like the two like sort of like jacket or dress will be over the duchess satin skirt and top so that is my plan with this yellow too and um, satin um, <laughs> I don't think I've made anything like that's like only yellow and bright like this so this will be quite interesting and um, 
uh, what's it called? It's gonna be out of my comfort zone, but I think I'll love it as well. Just trying something new. So that's that. That I'm. That's what I'm gonna make with this. So I have pinned the tool and the satin here. And then the next one is something that I'm really, really excited for. It is my new upcoming PDF pattern. Um, while I'm filming this video, it's currently being tested. It's not um, been released yet, but it'll be released soon. Um, if you haven't checked out my first PDF pattern for the Azania dress, do check that out as well. It's also part of my summer swing um, list. Where is it? I have printed it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I also have printed out the Azania pattern and different fabrics that I want to use to sew them. Um, I did this video separately and um, it was also a fabric haul and a sewing plan. So if you want to check out that video, so do check out that video. I don't, I'm not sure if it will be uploaded before or after this, but it will be in the description box anyways. My fabric haul and sewing plan for the Azania pattern. So that's that and this one is going to be the new PDF pattern. It's really a beautiful wrap dress with like a half circle almost full circle skirt and buttons down the middle and a button on the sides to secure the wrap dress as well as a drop shoulder sleeve so this is the new pattern um i already made a really nice sample dress out of that it's really good but i want to make a second version and the fabric i want to use is this um linen fabric also gifted <laughs> I love nice fabric gifts. Thank you. If, you. if you just want to give me gifts, give me things that are sewing related or things that are related to my hobbies. Um, yeah, so this fabric is also gifted from Tino. Thank you so much, Tino. Um, now I have what to make with this beautiful linen fabric. I don't think I've sewn with linen before. One thing I know about linen is they're so difficult to iron. <laughs> I think that's why I've stayed, stayed away from them. But um, I really love this, like some sort of like camo camouflage um print on it i love blue and sort of like a cream and brown color um so this this, this has also been pre-washed and that's what i'm going to use to sew the new pattern design so i think this is two meters or two and a half almost three which will be perfect and enough for the dress so i think i've gone through everything that i plan to do this summer plan to sew this summer um that's it so i have like six clothing items that i said i wanted to make a bucket hat face masks and the scrap fabric organza bag and i think i'll have tutorials for almost all of these designs on the youtube channel so content <laughs> content is coming um so stay stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss any tutorial and get sewing together so i have this scrap jeans um some of them are like shorts <laughs> i don't know what i was planning to do with this but it's i cut it too short so um and then this one is just the pants legs i probably used the top part as shorts and then I also have another short hair that's really, really bad. And I, I don't remember what I used the bottom part for, but I remember I cut it and I used the bottom part for something. So I have these jean scraps and I thought it'd be cool to make bucket, a bucket hat using jeans. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'll probably share the tutorial on how I make bucket hats using jeans scrap. So this is my first Thing, my first non clothing item that I want to get through this summer make bucket hats with jeans and then the next one is I plan to make face masks with also with um, like Ankara scrap fabrics as well I also uh, yeah we're running out of like face masks the face masks that we've been using are like old from last year so I want to make new face masks for like everyone in the family so that's on the sewing list <laughs> and then another thing that's really cool another scrap fabric DIY project you guys know I, I love 
um being creative with um fabric scraps i don't like throwing them away fabric is expensive and it's just waste if you throw them away like it can be purpose, repurposed and used to make so many things and if you check the channel i have different craft ideas for how to use your scrap fabrics like this paintings behind me all made from scrap fabrics that bag hanging on my cupboard made from fabric scrap as well so i like to explore different ways of using scrap fabrics so like i said i'm making face masks with scrap fabrics another cool project that i saw i saw on pinterest i didn't save it and then i saw on instagram i saved that one i'll probably put a video of it if it's not copyrighted <laughs> uh and then i saw kim dave make something similar using um but she used um what's it called pvc like pvc fabric to make the bag so i have this organza fabric right it's not a lot it's probably like half a meter but it's even short just like 20 inches long um i want to stuff this with pieces of fa scrap fabric quilt it and make a bag out of it i don't know how that's gonna turn out i hope it'd be cool but this fabric this organza i used it for a video on the channel where i replaced this the sleeves of a very plain t-shirt and i replaced it with puffy organza sleeve that video has so many views i think a lot of people want to try that out so if you want to try out that video do or that tutorial do check that video out it'll be on the it'll be on the screen here <laughs> so i want to make a scrap fabric brag sand rich quilted in between and um, this organza fabric so that's the last non-clothing item i have i want to make <laughs> And that's it so these are my personal sewing plans i'm very sure that things sewing things for my family or friends will come up and i have to like do that as well but for now i don't have a plan for them i have plans for myself and this is what i plan to sew this summer um some azania dresses and tops as well as some new designs that i just sketched um so yeah that's it if you enjoyed this video i hope i didn't ramble too much please like the video share the video let me know if you got inspired what design you like and you look forward to seeing me so and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys